Whenever we want to measure the melt temperature, we must always use an immersion probe like the one that I have over here. The problem is the probe is always at room temperature and so it is cold. Because it's cold, as soon as you put it into the melt purge, you're going to have a film of cold plastic that's created on top of this probe and therefore you will not be able to get accurate readings as far as the melt temperature goes. So when I was working as a process engineer at Molding International and Engineering, my friend Biff, he had a great idea. He said, why don't we go use an old sprue bushing and put a heater band around it and let's heat that sprue bushing up to the melt temperature of the plastic that we want to measure and simply create a sleeve over here and push the probe inside the sleeve and set the temperature, like I said, towards closer to the melt temperature. So now what's happening is the probe is being heated almost closer to the melt temperature. So I want to measure the melt temperature. It's going to be about 350, 365 degrees or so. And so now the probe is heated. I'm safe. Otherwise, what processors tend to do, they take a flame torch and heat the tip of this probe and then they can easily damage it. Not just that, I have seen that whatever is behind that flame torch has also been damaged and I'm sure some of y'all have seen the, the transparent plastic on the door has been melted because of that flame. So this is a great idea. This is not a very professional looking fixture that I have over here, but this is something that somebody quickly made for me, but I highly encourage you all to uh, to make something like this and preheat the probes like this. Uh, I'm dedicating this uh, video to my friend Biff, who unfortunately passed away, but he was a great processor and a great human being. Thank you, Biff. May our soul rest in peace. Thank you.